הפטרה תולדות. The prophecy, the word of Adonai to Israel through Malachi. I love you, says Adonai, but you ask, how do you show us your love? Adonai answers, Esav was Yaakov's brother, yet I loved Yaakov but hated Esav. I made his mountains desolate and gave this territory to desert jackals. Edom says, We are beaten down now, but we will come back and rebuild the ruins. Adonai Tzavaot answers, They can build, but I will demolish. They will be called the land of wickedness, the people with whom Adonai is permanently angry. You will see it and say, Adonai is great, even beyond the borders of Israel. A son honors his father and a servant his master. But if I'm a father, where is the honor due me? And if I'm a master, where is the respect due me? Says Adonai Tzavaot to you, Kohanim who despise my name. You ask, how are we despising your name? By offering polluted food on my altar. Now you ask, how are we polluting you? By saying that the table of Adonai doesn't deserve respect so that there is nothing wrong with offering a blind animal as a sacrifice, nothing wrong with offering an animal that's lame or sick, try offering such an animal to your governor and see if he will be pleased with you. Would he even receive you? asks Adonai Tzavot. So if you pray now that God will show us favor, what your actions have accomplished is that Adonai Tzavot asks, will he receive any of you? Why doesn't even one of you shut the doors and thus stop this useless lighting of fires on my altar? I take no pleasure in you, says Adonai Tzavaot, and I will not receive an offering from you. For from farthest east to farthest west my name is great among the nations. Offerings are presented to my name everywhere, pure gifts, for my name is great among the nations, says Adonai Tzavaot. But you profane it by saying that the table of Adonai is polluted, so that the fruit and food offered deserve contempt. You also say, It's all so tiresome, and sniff scornfully at it, says Adonai Tzavaot. Then you bring animals that were taken by violence, or they are lame or sick. This is the sort of offering you bring. Am I supposed to accept this from you? asks Adonai. Moreover, Cursed is the deceiver who has a male animal in his flock that is damaged, but vows and sacrifices to Adonai anyway. For I am a great king, says Adonai Tzavaot, and my name is respected among the nations. Now, Kohanim, this command is for you. If you won't listen, if you won't pay attention to honoring my name, says Adonai Tzavaot, then I will send the curse on you. I will turn your blessings into curses. Yes, I will curse them, because you pay no attention. I will reject your seed. I will throw dung in your faces, the dung from your festival offerings, and you will be carted off with it. Then you will know that I sent you this command to affirm my covenant with Levi, says Adonai Tzavaot. My covenant with him was one of life and peace, and I gave him these things was also one of fear, and he feared me. He was in awe of my name. The true Torah was in his mouth, and no dishonesty was found on his lips. He walked with me in peace and uprightness, and turned many away from sin. A Kohen's lips should safeguard knowledge, and people should seek Torah from his mouth, because he is the messenger of Adonai Tzavaot.